Hello family, are you following me on social media? I do Inspirational Tuesdays. I motivate you. I keep you connected with the Word of God. Find me and most important, follow me on all my social media platforms. Hello family, here I am, it's Inspirational Tuesday, and I am so grateful to be with you in this time. It's such an exciting time to be in, and I know that you are as excited about what God is saying, what God is doing, as I am. And I am still in this mindset of nurture, nurture, uh, feed, uh, help to fertilize, put the nutrients in to your faith to, to help you grow, to know how to grow and what is your expectancy. Today's theme is all about nurture your expectancy. We have all sown seeds in this time. We've been talking about um, momentum that throughout the, the seven days, Dr. Rennie has been on both sets of uh, pages and talking about momentum of praise. And as you talk about momentum of praise, that was feeding your seed that you have sown in the feast times. And now uh, I have been talking about the, the nurturing, the nurturing. I'm still stuck on this word flourish. Be in your peak season, be in the peak of what you are doing. And if there's ever a time that we are seeing a peak in the opening of things to us and for us, or us also being the, the door opener for others. It is in this peak time. So I'm gonna give you a few uh, things to look for and to, to nurture in your expectancy, but let me go to the scripture. It is John chapter 12 and verse 24. This is from the King James Version. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except corn, of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. And I want to talk to you today about that much fruit. When you sow, you are expecting a harvest. When you put the seed in the ground, you are expecting it to take a period of time. There are some suddenlies, but we're expecting a period of time because of what the sustainability, I love that word, what the sustainability will be of your seed. And so my friend, in this season of sowing, in the season of speaking to our future through our seed, I want to encourage you that your seed must die. There is an expected return. I'm going to say that again. There is an expected return. And for the most part of my Christian walk, I believe that if I sow and I get uh, the same amount, I'm just like, oh, I've received and I've learned 
oh, painfully, that that is not my harvest. That might just be a return, but it's not my harvest because my harvest is the seed must go into the ground and die. And after a process of time, there are shoots, uh, there are there is evidence. Oh, and so that helps to nurture, good word, right? There are that springing up of the leaf, the, the stem, the, the budding of the, 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 the fruit. And uh, we think, oh, it's, that's my harvest. No, there is a full return, but it depends on how patient you are in the waiting. It depends on what has bombarded your seed. But I tell you, God is faithful. If it falls to the ground and dies, that is the cycle of harvest. That is the cycle of return. The seed must die and then it will yield. And not just a little fruit, it bringeth forth much fruit. So in this time that I'm talking to you, nurture your expectancy. Number one, be specific about what you're believing for. No farmer I love this because you, you have to go back to agriculture. No farmer plants apple seeds and expect corn. He is planting corn seeds to expect corn. And no farmer just plants one kernel of corn and expects a whole field. He's planting specifically for that yield of, in that period of time, those three months of sowing, the three months of cultivating the ground, uh, keeping it watered, keeping it nourished, keeping the soil good, checking up on it. Oh my gosh, there is a process. And I want to get you into that mode of thinking that there is a process. God can do it supernaturally, but there is a process. So be specific about what you're believing God for. If you've been generic, this is a time. Say, Lord, I repent of being generic. And now I come with an intentional purpose. I have sown intentionally for, and name what you're, what you're intentionally for. Come on, put it in the comments. Tell me what is your intentional for, right? And so be specific about what you are believing to receive in this season. Number two, measure your faith. Uh, we were, we've been challenged. Dr. Rennie put out a challenge. There's a specific amount that he wanted because he wants to bring in the profits. And I was just like, dear Jesus, what are you trying to do to me <laughs> in, in, in administration? And then I uh, just started praying specifically. Lord, we're putting, um, we're asking for the finance to come in to put into the prophet's hands. And so I delayed um even my mega women praying because I, I got intentional because of what Dr. Manny did last week. I, I became intentional about this month of prayer. And so we're putting the seeds into the prophet's hands. We received it now putting it into the prophet's hands to create an opening, to create an entrance, to create a portal. And, and for some, it's going to be expedient. For some, it's going to be the full process of time. For some, it's going to be that suddenly. But it will bear much fruit. We're adding our measure of faith to the profits that we are bringing in. Can somebody can somebody say, add in my measure of faith? This is the season. Oh, my gosh. We talk about it all the time and at specific times. And no better time than a schmiter year to get among people who can declare your future that can speak into the realms and cre help create your future to be even bigger because your expectancy just expanded because of who you are attached to. I'm going to say to you again, your expectancy just expanded. What is your measure of faith? And as you measure it, when you add it to our faith, those of you that have sown in this time, when you add that faith to our faith, the apostolic and the prophetic, and now we're expanding that sphere by bringing in other prophetic voices, other prophetic mantles to increase the advancement, to increase the yield of what you are believing for. Number three, I just this is just sowing seeds at you, right? Number three, discern the weapon of warfare for this battle. Some of you are warfaring over the prophetic word that's been spoken to you. Uh, you're getting ready to have a Zoom call with Dr. Rennie. And so you're looking for that prophetic word. What is the warfare that you are warfaring? You're warfaring on the specific word 
about your seed. I'm going to say it to you again, the specific word about your seed. So if you're believing for increase, that's your warfare. I know that when personally we're about to step into a new sphere, a new level, a, a new um, mantle of the prophetic or the apostolic in our lives, it requires a new altar. And that altar requires a new intensity of prayer. Somebody put in the comment, new intensity of prayer. And in that new intensity of prayer, I'm warfaring concerning what I'm about to walk into. And so every time some of you say, oh, there's just so much going on. I was at my chiropractor last week and he said to me, I said, how are you? And he said, you know, I just feel like I've been bombarded with so many things. His horse is sick. His, his daughter was well. Something else was going wrong. That chaos in the in the administration. And I said to him, you must be on the verge of a breakthrough. And then he told me on some exciting news that it's not for me to say because that's his story. That's his testimony. He said, well, that's why all things are breaking loose right now. I'm trying to wear you down so that you're not excited for the breakthrough. Does somebody just hear me? wear you down, frustrate you, make you have anxiety to, to this, we call it the war of attrition, to stop you being excited about what God is getting ready to do with you. Sometimes the warfare is just to stop you um, and delay your thinking, or bombard your thinking so that you are not feeding your expectancy, you're feeding the circumstance, not the future that is coming to invade your circumstance. Somebody needs to put that in the comment and say hallelujah to that. This is Inspiration Tuesday. Number four, identify the resistance to your harvest. What is the resistance to your harvest? Sometimes, hear me somebody, this is a rainbow word for somebody. Sometimes when you are in the a mode of a financial breakthrough, there's sudden bills, there's sudden accidents, there's sudden distractions that take your finances. You're saving up for a rainy day and you've just had a downpour, a gush, a dam just broke in your in your home. And you're just like, Lord, why? Because it's to take you away from the expectancy of the harvest, the fullness. The enemy knows a breakthrough is coming. Sometimes you're in the midst of a struggle and God, you heard the words and God says, give. Because he wants you to identify the resistance to your harvest. What a word today. You are nurturing your expectation. You are nurturing your expectation in this season of what God is getting ready to open for you. Number five, release a praise. Oh, hallelujah. You release a praise that is equal or above your expectancy. I, 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 I love this praise because you can all remember Isaiah 54, sing, O barren, right? You who did not give birth, make a sound that Despise what you are walking through. Make a worship sound. Release that that rhema song. Release that rhema word and put it to melody that changes up your atmosphere and draws heaven to you to, to uh, encourage and enforce your expectancy. Sometimes it's a known song, some, but the majority of the time it's an unknown song that's coming straight from your innermost being. You give God praise because he is the creator of all things. He is the author and the finisher of your faith. He is. Uh, he takes great pleasure. Oh, hallelujah. He takes great pleasure in the prosperity of his children. Oh, he said, as long as the earth remains, there is this continual cycle from eternity past to eternity future, the eternal working of the earth. As long as the earth remains, there will be, somebody put it in, seed, time, and harvest. And it is my natural occurrence. It is my natural ability to receive. It is my natural ability to work the blessing. Oh, yes, it is my natural ability. I like that, Raymond, to work the blessing as long as there is seed time. So, Father, I give 
give you praise for the natural ability to work my promise, to work the covenant that I will be the head and not the tail. Uh, to work the blessing that I will have more than enough. To work the blessing that through me, the nations of the world, my ecosystem, all those that are attached to me, all those that will be coming to join themselves to my blessing, they will have the blessing of my increase. Father God, I give you the praise because you are a good Father, what is your praise that you can give the Lord that is not written on paper, that you're not quoting somebody else, but is coming out of the innermost being, out of your innermost being? Thank you, thank you, thank you for putting in the comments. Thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give God praise today because we are nurturing the expectation of the harvest that is getting ready to unfold on our behalf. And I pray for those of you that are struggling with, with your expectancy because you waited so long. You're struggling because of the, the bombardment of the enemy saying it's not going to happen for you. You're struggling because the words that are coming up against you uh, is dissolving your faith slowly, that, that warfare of attrition. I uphold you those of you that are, that the canker worm and the pummel the slow eating locust that has been eating away at your finances over the years over these months we call it to stop now in the name of jesus and i speak to the seeds that you have sown, that you've called dead, I call resurrected right now because they fall into the ground and all they need is a praise from you. All they need is a cultivation of worship out of you. All they need is a change of mindset that's taking place inside of you right now in the name of Jesus. This is Inspirational Tuesday, inspiring you to nurture your expectancy, inspiring you to believe God for the impossible that has been spoken over you. I speak to the very seed of faith that is inside of you. I speak to the very life of faith that is inside of you, the life of faith that you sowed, maybe you say years ago, maybe you say just a few days ago, maybe you say months ago. I speak to the time frame that is eternal eternal concerning your seed. Oh, I like that. Somebody should put that in the comment. I speak to the eternal life that is in your seed. Call it, it refreshed and renewed and alive and invigorated and it shall flourish and it shall thrive. It shall come to its peak in Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. I thank you for joining me for Inspirational Tuesday. I look forward to seeing you on Thursday at 5.30, our new time for mega women praying. I'm assembling the prophets together. Uh, the word that, that I sent out in the newsletter, you can only get the newsletter if you are a part of the mega women community. You've signed up on the website, uh, Dr. Marina McLean, or on the mega women website. I'm going to start doing newsletters just for you uh, to just keep you encouraged and, and give you some free stuff uh, Somebody said, I like free. The free downloads are uh, getting ready to happen. So you sign up for that and, and we'll have our new time of mega women praying this coming Thursday. I want to just say to you that uh, Infinity Center will be back at 7 p.m. on Thursday. Also, that's why it's the new time for Mega Women Praying. We just do this once a month where we connect with each other and uh, just keep each other inspired. There's some lovely new things happening in Mega Women. I, I can't wait to tell you once we've landed. can't wait to tell you. I want to let you know that my new show, my new network that I'm on <laughs> is... Um, live zone tv and that's every monday at 10 30 it's on all the streaming platforms on roku apple google tv i'm on now five days a week with covenant daughters um, at 5 30 a.m come on you see the expansion you see the expansion and so i, I just look forward to, to getting to know those of you that will be brand new joining me and learning about rmm tv 
a, a subscription service that is our material and what a resource it is. The things that we cannot say and that would be censored anywhere else, it is live and up close and personal right there on RMMTV. We have a podcast. Yes, you can watch us and listen to us on our podcast, RMMTV, that is on all the streaming platforms, the digital streaming platforms. So please go listen click the five stars, give us five stars and leave a comment. We are loving it. And for those of you that love this new digital technology, you can give right here by giving stars. You, you see that in the comment section, you can give stars and, and that's another way to support the ministry. But we just love how God is expanding, what God is doing and some exciting things. Oh, before I go, this month, I, I can finally say we are getting ready to release and advertise um live worship part to the new album that we worked on we've, we've done it live uh, um, in the october conference we did it live in the zoom it is ready and for you to enjoy for you to have the download of that uh, we don't do cds if you request cds uh, dm us or email us we'll send cds but it's all digital now yay so you can listen to dr marina where Ever you are and enjoy the new album getting ready to be released. I'm so excited, so excited. Some of the, some great songs on there. Well, maybe we'll just do a time where we just talk about that. But I am talking today, ending today, reminding you to nurture your expectancy. God is doing some great things and we just love you. And keep it kosher. Keep sending us your pictures. Keep enjoying kosher kitchen. We love you dearly. We appreciate you. And I know God is going to do some incredible things with you and for you. Love you all very dearly. You are so dear to us. And we just honor your giving, your sacrifice in this season to bless RMMTV. What a time. What a time. What a time. God bless you. God keep you. And I'll see you on Thursday.